<laughs> in Redlands, California. Uh, what would you say that this restaurant is best known for? Brisket ribs. Yep. We do spare ribs, so full-size ribs as opposed to St. Louis cut ribs. Uh, well, maybe bags are good. We like our full-size spare ribs. Is that what I'm smelling right now? Uh, that's what you're smelling right now. Hickory and oak out there on the smoker. And uh, actually, brisket is what's going right now. Uh, ribs came off a few hours ago. Well, it does smell good. What year was this restaurant established, actually? This location was actually opened in 2008 by, I'm not sure if you're familiar, there's another Mill Creek in Mintone, uh, which is not too far from here, about five miles. And that was open, I think, about 20 years ago. And then the daughter and her husband of that owner opened this one. Um, in 2008, and then I bought the restaurant from them um, about two years ago, January. So 19, 2018, January 2018 is when I took it. Sounds good. What motivated you to start uh, here? I'm kind of crazy. <laughs> um, it's the goodest reason as any. I, you know, I had a, uh, an advertising relationship with them, and uh, they had indicated that they were doing more work over at their uh, father's restaurant. Uh, they had a catering business that had grown to sizable, and uh, they had an interest in selling the restaurant. And I was interested in owning a restaurant. For, yeah, I, I don't know what crazy reason, but um, so we, that started the conversation for us. That's a good history. Yeah, it, it took a little while to get to this point. It's uh, it's come a far way, huh? Yes, yes, it has. Um, We've made some changes, you know, over the time I've been here. Uh, one of the things I've really focused on is, is the meat and keeping it fresh. We smoke daily, ribs, tri-tips, briskets. That's what we do on, on a daily basis. Great quality. Yeah. Yes, yes. Even, even our sides are made here in house. We cook our buns for our sandwiches and our hamburgers. Uh, we make those by hand daily. Uh, would you say that's what keeps people coming back? Freshness, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, barbecue's got to be fresh, and, yeah. and, and that's where we're at, it's good fresh smoked barbecue. Do a good job of keeping it fresh here. Yes. What did you do uh, before this? Well, as I indicated, uh, advertising marketing, if we go back in the way, way time machine, I had a catalog business, a family catalog business, that migrated into an e-commerce business. Believe it or not, I had an e-commerce site before Amazon was even around. I believe it. Um, ultimately, um, those guys are a little smarter than I am, a little bigger than I am. <laughs> yeah, that changed the world, but uh, that, that's where I came from was uh, catalog and e-commerce online marketing. Um, and then I went to uh, direct-to-consumer uh, text programming. Um, so similar to email, but more focused on text on uh, phones. And that's what opened the relationship here. So that helps you here, advertising? Well, yeah, it, you know, knowing customers, uh, knowing how to relate to people, you know, it, sure, it, it's a lot of, part of it's marketing, you know, you can have the good food, but if you can't tell people how good the food is, that's not going to work. Um, Definitely. You have the good food and you can't relate to people, it, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, people do have to know that it exists. Well, not only do they have to know it exists, but they have to create relationships with people. Yeah. You know, I like to get out, shake hands, meet people. Um, but I'm not a stay in the back kind of owner. I, I like to come out at lunchtime and dinner time and thank people for coming here and, and having dinner with us and well, get their feedback to, to know what we could be doing better. That's good. That's a successful business owner. Well, I hope so. Yeah. Would you say that owning Mill Creek has changed you? Well, I don't see my family anymore, so yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> yes, it, I gotta tell you, restaurant, it, you hear all the things, you watch the TV shows. Um, restaurant ownership is, a, is an interesting animal. Um, and it's a, it's a puzzle that, that I really I like business in general. I've, I've always been involved in family businesses. Uh, the hours don't bother me um, in, in the sense that there's always something to do, there's always something that's going to break, there's always something um, that can be worked on, and so I like that. But at the end of the day, it, it's a big Rubik's Cube, and it's fun, and yeah, it, it's really giving me a good outlook, outlook on life. Um, you know, I'm just grateful I have this opportunity. Someone's got to do it. Well, it, it's more than that. I'm glad I got to do it. Is there anything that you'd like to tell the locals? 
Well, you know, I touched on it a little bit earlier that uh, there's a Mill Creek in Minto, and a lot of people go there, and they're actually two different businesses. Um, they're the, the Mento location, it, it's a steakhouse, it's a saloon, it's a full bar, uh, they do entertainment that's it's just a different kind of business. Um, where I'm more, I call it more your traditional barbecue, you go around the Midwest, uh, you go up to the counter, you place your order, we'll bring the food to you. One of the things I have that most barbecues don't have is a drive through um, And so, uh, to be honest with you, I want to be the KFC barbecue. I, I see no reason why you can't come home, uh, you know, at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock at night after sitting in traffic on the I-10 freeway, pull over, get a meal that feeds four to six people, and then take it home and have good, fresh, home-cooked barbecue at home, uh, the same way people do with fried chicken. There's something I want people to know is that we're a separate location, like I said, off California Street, uh, off the I-10 freeway, and then uh, we do take home meal packages. Sounds great. It smells great, too. <laughs>